Alright, so this is your boy Raider Knight, and we are back on Pixel Place IO, a game I haven't actually touched for quite a while. It appears we have a lot of people actually online still, which is pretty crazy to think about. I don't know if they're actually subscribed or not. Maybe they are, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it looks like on my world, Ukraine is still in control of Australia, still actually here. Not really too much has changed with the map. Obviously, some major changes in the USA. It's completely united now under the whole country, and they have a wall, so the USA has a wall now. It looks like Armenia was actually in control of Mexico for a while, and uh, lots of griefing obviously occurring across Africa and South America, with different German colonies all around the place. We, we have whatever this is. If you guys in the comments want to tell me what this is, you can, but I'm not exactly super sure what that could could be representing and I'm not really sure what these people are doing they, they might just be really dumb <laughs> they're just randomly griefing this region I suppose I could I could assist them in the griefing but I don't know it looks like Bosnia has lost all of its territory though there's nothing left to my Bosnian Empire that's a, a sad thing to think about is there anything left of Bosnia that we can actually find on the map to represent this country I don't think we can they might have completely wiped Bosnia off of the face of the earth, which is a sad thing to think about. We might have something here, maybe? I don't really know. Yeah, nothing nothing really left of Bosnia from the, from the looks of it. We don't even really have anything left, so we, we're going to have to rebuild Bosnia from the ground up. Even Greenland, something I was really happy to take, has been taken by the Armenians from the looks of it. But this is okay, we will reform Bosnia, right here in the heart of Europe as I call it. If you guys play on this world, you gotta make sure that Bosnia is always defended. I'll leave a link to this uh, roleplay uh, pixel place in the, uh, the comments. It appears that the USA and Armenia are currently the world powers with Germany in a third place position. If you guys have watched previous videos, you'll remember Bosnia once controlled a lot of the southern land in Europe, as well as Lithuania was once a pretty large empire in the region, actually having a lot of power at one point. And I don't know if I'm going to get involved in all these really large like wars that everybody does in this. I feel like if I'm playing Bosnia, maybe I should just go for Africa, you feel me? Because I feel like somebody needs to rebuild Africa, South America. Those areas have been destroyed for a really long time. It looks like Ireland is gaining its independence. It looks like the Netherlands have also fallen, actually. Which is interesting to see. This took a really long time, but we finally have Bosnian South Africa. Our big colony. And somebody did upgrade our flag as well. I'm starting to wonder if I should keep playing as Bosnia. Just because the flag is kind of irritating to make. And it's, it's really not that appealing of a flag on the map in most places other than actual Bos <laughs> Bosnia, but maybe I should make like an official cloud gang flag. I've made like different flags in the past, but maybe I should make like a official cloud gang country and flag or something cool like that. Where should cloud gang build its headquarters at? Obviously we have to pick a spot that's not going to get bombed out of, out of you know, just get bombed into nothing maybe we'll build like right here this can be like cloud gang's home or something we, we have to design a, a cool flag for cloud gang so obviously let's just start out by making the whole thing white because clouds are white and it just makes sense i designed a, a flag for cloud gang i'll get rid of the heart actually it looks kind of dumb but the the cloud gang the cloud gang flag is going to be green white and then purple. That'll be a very simple flag for me to use as Cloud Gang's official flag. We'll use this flag, we'll take over the continent. We'll, we'll do it, bro. People say Raider Knight won't do it. I'll do it, I'll do it. All right, so I've been developing the Cloud Gang country for a while now. We've taken control of quite a bit of land. I think Nigeria is kind of our capital. I'll just pretend it's just a solid color just because it's kind of our capital. We do have an enemy up here who's expanding this uh, crusade Jerusalem type country. I don't really know what you'd call it. But we have a very powerful cloud gang empire. I built ourselves a little man-made ocean right here. 
that kind of goes in from the uh, the Red Sea and kind of swir swerves off into the, the cloud ocean, as I'd call it. The cloud sea, whatever you'd like to call it. And the cloud gulf, the cloud sea, is really a economic powerhouse of a region. Obviously, lots of danger exists if we were cut off, though, so we do have to kind of in enforce our rule over here before, you know, things get ugly. I think I'm probably done building at this point. I built a really big empire today. Obviously, we started down here in the Congo and Gabon region. We built a pretty significant mainland. This is the main part of my country, the border that I have defended. Uh, after that, we took over Nigeria as kind of like this puppet state, and we moved over kind of westwards, and then we built this big sea moving eastwards. After that, I decided to do a little trolling, and I decided to say, yep, you know what, Italy is now a part of my country, and obviously when you take over Italy, you have to take over Libya and connect our African territory to Europe. So we've built a pretty incredible country here today. Uh, probably going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.